we are back YouTube. If anyone's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch and this is Retro Rummage. I am in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electrical items I can get my hands on a car boot sales, Facebook marketplace or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. And that's what we're doing today. Another world famous episode of CEX Roulette. Um, not one, not two, but three packages today. Um, I spent close to £400 vouchers uh, on all of this, but <laughs> there are only two games in here, uh, but there's three packages. But as you can probably hear, the audio is terrible at the moment because my microphone broke. One of these packages is my new microphone. So what I may do is record until obviously we pick up the new microphone. Hopefully it's got a little bit of charge and then yeah, I'll switch over to the new microphone and we'll finish off with that. If not, apologies, you'll have to deal with this terrible audio just for this one last video. Um, yeah, again, I apologize, but needs must. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just how it goes, unfortunately. So we've got two games in here, which were 170 pound each. And my microphone was um, 65 pound, I believe, for the uh, on the voucher. So yeah, what's that? 405 pound vouchers uh, spent in total on all of this. Um, yeah, the CEX roulette has been, you know, the CEX roulette gods, should we say, have been looking down, shining down on me. Um, we've got Mega Man Legends 2 over there, Mega Man Legends and Tron Bon all come in good condition well in acceptable condition for me um in the last three roulettes so probably gonna have one of these as a fail if not maybe two because my, my luck's got to run out um but yeah without further ado i'll flip the cameras we'll get into it i'll open which i believe is going to be the microphone first but yeah we'll, we'll see so here we go so yeah 65 pounds on a microphone is uh, it's quite expensive considering it is only one of those uh, little what do you want to call it? Uh, I think they're called like a lavalier or something like that, but a collar microphone basically. Um, so bear with me. Let me try and get into this box as they've done it up. Well, where's my scissors? All right, I'm trying. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to open it from the other end rather than the one with the pull bit. So. Go. Oh my god. Open the box for me, Mitch. Right, is this the microphone? Yes, it is. Happy days. So let's open it up. Oh, it's, oh that's cool. So, yeah, it's a Cinco. What do we call it? Synco Wireless Lavalier Lighty Connector Microphone for iPhone. Now, I believe that I've got the B version of this, um, but it's come with the box. There we go. So let's pause the footage now and let's get it on. All right, and we're back. So hopefully the uh, audio quality, sorry, should we say, sounds a lot better. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed it does. If not, it means it hasn't connected properly and I'm using the audio from the second camera. So apologies uh, if, if it hasn't, but I'll figure it out. It did take me a little while to set it up. I think I had to reset it to factory settings and stuff like that. So um, yeah, fingers crossed it all sounds good. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into what we came here for, which is the games. Now, both of these games, like I say, will cost £170 each. They are, I believe, both horror games. Um, I'll be completely honest with you, they're not games that I've played or known about from um, like when I was a kid or anything like that. Um, so obviously quite quite rare to come by. But yeah, looking forward to, you know me, I love all my horror games, obviously Silent Hill and Resident Evil are my absolute favorites. Um, so always up for, you know, giving it a horror survival, shall we say, game a go, which I believe both of these are. Let's get the box off the top. Right, so yes, first one here, 170 pound. Do we have a winner? Right, so from my last CEX roulette video, I have been informed that this is called Hex Wrap 
for hexagon or honeycomb wrap, but I'm gonna call it hex wrap, I believe. So yeah, as always, lots of uh, hex wrap here. But, oh, there it is. The first game is, let's get rid of that, Chaos Break. So yeah, first impressions looks v pretty good condition. Um, yeah, a couple of, couple of scuffs on the case, but it's, it's all there. Yeah, and without further ado, we have a minty fresh manual. Yeah, that is really, really good. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but yeah, this is, again, honestly, the, the CEX Roulette Gods are looking down on me. If anything, this looks like it's been here for a long time. I don't know if you can see that it's quite dusty. Um, give it a quick, quick wipe on the joggers. People are probably, I don't know, has that been, may have been for a disc clean, this one. Don't know, but it looks good. The manual is there in very good condition. Let's have a quick look at the insert as we've been stung once there. Hmm. Don't know about that. That feels a little bit, a little bit different. If it is a fake, it's a good one. Let me get another game quickly. Hmm. Is it the same size? It's the same size. Don't know, there's something off about this one. Don't know if you can see in the, it looks like it's been cut across the bottom there and the lines are not matching up, but I don't know. Well, if it is a fake, it's a very good fake. It's it's not one that I'll be sending back. It's that good of a fake, but it, something does seem just. If I put that in the wrong way around. Yeah, something does seem just a little bit off about it. But the fact that the manual's there and in great condition, um, that is a CEX win in my opinion. Like I said, don't know anything about this game. According to the back of it, it says a 3D adventure in real time rendering. Then the enemy is out there to get you. A mystery needs to be solved. The human race begins its battle with a mysterious alien cells that fuse with molecular structures of all kinds. So yeah, like I said, from as far as I, I can tell, it's a horror survival. So yeah, looking forward to giving that a go. But that is another CEX win. And then yes, let's get into the last one. Now oh, this one is nice and unpacked already. Get rid of the old invoice. Yeah, so again, another 170 pound game. This one is in hexi wrap, but also, you know when they wrap it in cling film, I don't know if I like when they do that, but without further ado, Hell Knight. And straight away, either that's very sun damaged. I don't know if, <laughs> where I got stung. Oh no, maybe it's the cling film. I don't know where I got stung with that uh, copy of Trombon before. I'm like, every single insert that I see, I'm like, is that real? Is that real? First impressions case, again, is in good condition. That's got a little bit of right in there, but I think that's on the case. I'm not too fussed about that. But yeah, without further ado, it looks like <laughs> it's another CEX Roulette win. Disc, very good condition again. Put that there, let's have a look at the manual. Manual's a little bit, little bit beat up, but all in all, good condition. Got the bonus of an extra little pamphlet, whatever you want to call it there. Let's have a look at this insert. So can you see what I mean by my first thoughts in that it looked a little little bit sun damaged? Because this, you've got obviously more grey in that, but this just looks all red. But maybe it's just a different picture. Sorry, I should probably turn that around for you because it's going to be upside down. See what I mean? This is a little bit different between that and that. But on closer inspection, it does look pretty good. So... 
yeah, the CEX roulette. <laughs> God's continuing to look down on me. Um, very, very happy with these. Like I was saying, not games that I've played before. Let's read this one. A tension-filled 3D adventure that takes you down into the depths of Tokyo's underworld. Beneath the brightly coloured streets of the city lurks a mystery involving a strange underworld cult. Dare you unravel this dark and chilling mystery. Made in Austria. <laughs> there is a, a, is a crack in the case there, but for these expensive games, I'm not too fussed about the cases because, as you know, it's very easy to get a new case. So not not too fussed about that. But yeah, all in all, another CEX win. Long may it continue. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's surprising because for the, for the more expensive games, and there's, I think there's a few of these in stock, I normally end, uh, end up asking on the CEX Roulette, um, sorry, CEX Roulette, CEX Retro Watch um, thing, if anyone's seen any of these in stock and if they know of any good, in good condition. But I haven't been doing it lately, and yeah, I'm still coming good, so... Yeah, thank you for whoever's trading these in. I'll, whether or not I'm going to play one of these games on camera for you, I don't know because, to be honest, there's two games and I don't know which one I do. Maybe I'll do that later on at a later date. Let me know in the comments if you prefer me to, to play games, if you like to see the game footage. Um, if not, again, let me know if you're just happy to see the unboxing. But that is it for today, everyone. Thank you again. Appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the subscriptions. Please continue to keep watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.